Here's Porzingis at the buzzer. Got it! Oh, KP! Oh, my goodness. If that counts, the Knicks will have stolen this game. Looking at it on the replay monitor. Oh, they wave it off! Wow. And the Knicks will not win this ball game. Kristaps Porzingis' game-winning buzzer beater versus the Hornets was waved off, but he finished with his fourth double-double in nine career games. And according to Elias, he became the youngest Knicks player ever with 15 rebounds in a game. Stephen A., are you encouraged or discouraged by this loss? No, I'm, I, I'm very encouraged by this guy. And, and, you know, Phil Jackson is looking better and better as the season progresses. First of all, he had about 15 rebounds. Secondly, he shoots well from the free throw line that's good he can move he's athletic that's good it seems to me that the only thing that he needs to work on is just bulking up getting in the weight room doing some squats some bench presses and things of that nature but clearly he has the height already he's not scared of the big moment and the fact that Derek Fisher and those boys had him out there in that particular situation, I think speaks well for him. The two games prior to this, he only scored in single digits. I actually wanted the two, and he had like shot like three of, of eight and three of 11 in both of those games. But he can hit free throws. He can move without the ball. He's athletic. He's got some heart. He's not scared. Uh, there's a tremendous upside. And I like what I'm seeing from him. I'm pleasantly surprised. I must admit that. Uh, it looks like Phil Jackson did the right thing here with that number four overall pick. It still remains to be seen because I'm watching Emmanuel Moutier do his thing. And I understand that, you know, we got to look at Chris uh, uh, Porzingis and give him uh, 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 some, uh, some plus marks because Carmelo hasn't been playing that great. He shot 12 or 25 last night, finished with 25 points. But he's shooting 30%, 34% from the field on the season and 20 percent from three-point range he can do better and once he starts doing better assuming he continues to get healthier and do his thing that should open things up for Porzingis even more but I, I must say that I'm very very impressed with what I have seen thus far he's making a believer out of me in terms of his potential skip because you just heard so much about how he's going to be you know, a, a, a three to four year project, because I never saw him play before coming in to the NBA. But you see what he's doing right now, um, and he's validating the faith that the Knicks have shown in him, averaging, you know, 11 and 9 on the season mm -hmm. as a rookie. I got to give credit where credit is due in that regard. I'm still not letting Phil Jackson off the hook, though, because he's getting paid 10 to 12 million a year to be the president, and it wasn't to draft and build this team over five years. It was because you were marquee, you had a level of cachet attached to your name, and you're supposed to be able to go out there and recruit somebody big time to come and play with Carmelo Anthony. You didn't give Carmelo Anthony $122 million to just be somebody that was on an average or below average team for the next three or four years. You're supposed to go out there and attract somebody. So I'm still not letting Phil Jackson off the hook in that regard, but I will let him off the hook with Porzingis because yep. I'm impressed with what I'm seeing. I'm liking him more and more and more. I watched that game last night. He's impressing me. You know what? I I'm becoming a Knicks fan. It's like the weirdest thing. Really? Yeah, I can't help myself. I turned it on. I keep watching the score on dot com, and then I say, "You're trolling oh God, them." They're, 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 I'm not trolling them. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I mean in a positive oh, way. In a, in a positive, positive way. Okay. <laughs> and and I'm I'm seeing the score, and there at Charlotte. Charlotte's decent this year, you know. And I'm thinking, because Charlotte blew out the yeah. Bulls, remember in Charlotte the other night. I thought, well, okay, let's. Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm gonna check this out. So I turn it on at halftime, and I can't quit watching it. And it's it's partially because of this kid, but. But I, I like the team. I look down the box score. I, just, I like a flalo. I, I liked Robin Lopez until he let his, you know, let, what's his name, beat him, uh, you know, Cody Zeller at the end of the game. But, but I like the parts of the team. I'm not saying it can even make the playoffs, but it's fun to watch the Knicks now, mostly because of this kid. And, and I still say I watched it in real time, and when Porzingis let the shot go, I thought it I thought it was away in time. I did. Maybe I'm yep. rooting for the Knicks, but but it looked like just split second it had left his hand. And if the tie goes to the runner in baseball, maybe it was like a tie with the buzzer. I thought they should give it to yep. him. But then I watch it in slow, slow, slow motion. Maybe it was still barely touching his fingertips when 
Red light goes off. It was. Yeah, it was very close though. In real time, I thought it was good. His teammates thought it was good. And I like the emotion. It's been so long since I saw the Knicks have like end of game emotion where they're hugging each other. And it was like, it was fun to watch. It was like, wow, the Knicks are happy. Well, how, how could that be? They're back. Yeah. Maybe. I, I got I got I got to I got to give some love to a few people. We all know yeah. how I go off about my New York Knicks. Yeah. Uh, they're making you, you listen. They're not embar they're not an embarrassment. Yeah. They're competitive in yeah. practically mm -hmm. every game. They're fighting. Derek Fisher's doing a good job. Kurt Rambis with Jim Clemens and those boys are doing a good job. These guys go out every single game. They're playing hard. They're going after it. They're not wilting beneath the pressure. It takes greatness to beat them on a lot of, in a lot of situations. I'm seeing a team that's fighting. I'm seeing a team that's feisty. And I'm actually looking forward to ending my boycott and going back to watch them really? again wow. this year. Wow. I'm looking, I'm looking forward mouthful. to it. I like, I like, well, listen, man, listen, wow. I've been suffering for, 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 for years know. with the New York Knicks, with the exception of their 54-win season that Mike Woodson delivered. But I got to take a moment to give you, we, we know what Derek Fisher went through, you know, at, at, at the start this season. Yep. Could have been a distraction. He's doing a good job. He is. Coaching staff is doing a good job. They're fighting, they're playing hard, and Porzingis can play. I yep. mean, he's got an upside. I, 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 there's reasons to go to the garden now to watch this team play. Yep. And, and I, that's, that's all I can ask for. I hope it continues. I hope I don't look like a damn fool where I'm hoodwinked into, into, into supporting them again and and then they let me down with lackluster effort. I mean, I, I'm weary of that, Skip. You know mm. how emotional I get with my Knicks. But I'm starting to feel good about them because they're fighting. They, they're fighting out there. They're feisty. Mm -hmm. And I like it. Now, to the point you made about Carmelo, I'm a big fan. You're a big fan. You know him very well. I know him a little. I want to see him join the party a little bit more. Now, I, I will point out that in the third quarter last night, he just went crazy. He made six out of eight shots. It was vintage mellow. Fourth quarter, pretty good. Made two out of four shots. But in the end, when they gave him the ball, I saw you just got, I think it was Marvin Williams, I can't remember who it was, was guarding him, and he, he lost the handle a little bit, couldn't get a hold of it, shot it from the side, from the, the baseline, and hit the side of the backboard. It's, it's not what I want to see from Mello. I'm nitpicking here, but I'm just saying, he, he, he at some point, he's got to turn back into the super superstar who could carry a team that's pretty good to the last playoff slot because he's good well, enough. I think there's enough around him now with the kid and all the other little pieces. I think Carmelo can be good enough to carry this team into to playoff contention. That's what well, I want to see. I think see. you're right. I, I think that when you see the parts around him, if they continue to grow and play as feisty as they have been playing, this is a team that should win enough games to contend for a playoff spot if Carmelo does his job. So as long as Porzingis and, yeah. and the others continue to grow and play hard and be feisty, then we're going to look at Carmelo and, see, and say to him, what you got for us? You're right about that. Okay. And here's my last question to you. I watch the Knicks telecast every night when I turn it on, and then I often watch the Knicks postgame with Serbiak and company, and I, I just want to get this straight because this kid has brought us to the point where he is now good enough, I want to make sure we're saying his name correctly. I say Porzingis because that's what they say on the broadcast. Yeah. Is that what it is, or is it Zingis? Or... Zingis. Yeah, which, which way yeah, is you it? You know what? I've, I, I've heard both, but last night I was watching, and I heard it on the broadcast. This is Porzingis. Yeah, that's so what they're saying. So let's go with Porzingis. So, so I'm going to go okay. with Porzingis. Let's go with Porzingis. Porzingis. You are. Is that all right? Porzingis. Yeah, some yeah, I'm going to go with I it. heard on the Van Pelt show late, they were, they were saying both. Zinger. You know, they were, yep. Porzingis I, works for me. Yeah. Well, yep. well it's time. to wh Whatever we're going to call him, we're going to be calling him that a lot because he is proving yeah. he belongs 
in the National Basketball Association. Knickerbockers, we're encouraged. We just had a positive Knicks topic. Yep. This is amazing. All right. Yeah. They, uh, Miracles do happen. <laughs> they host the Cavs at the Garden. That's on Friday, so that'll be a good one. A tough test, of course. Moving on, though, another tough one in New York. Rex Ryan is back, but this time he is the enemy. No Rex excuses tonight for the Bills. Oh, <laughs> oh like that, that was good. Can they pull off the upset? Find out next. You can't laugh at your own jokes, though, right? Yeah.